right, guys, the first thing is first, grab your Autel AL539B. If you don't got one, then you can't diagnose this vehicle. Simple as that. All right, the first thing we do is we're going to connect that to the diagnostic connector. The diagnostic connector is located up under the dashboard to the left of the steering wheel. And we look down here, and there it is right there. So we're going to plug that in, and we're going to see what codes we got. We'll be right back. All right, guys, check it out. We got a P144C. Please refer to the vehicle service manual. So what that's telling us, we got a problem with the manual. That means the manual's not in the car and the computer picked it up. Stop being silly. <laughs> okay, we got two, same thing, same thing. All right, this has to do with the purge system. I am the, pur the, uh, the purge valve. I am gonna show you what we mean in one second. We'll be right back. All right, guys, P144C. Let's break this down to basic. You got a plastic gas can, got some gas in it. In the summertime, during out the heat, what happens to that plastic can? It expands. That's the same thing. Well, back up a bit. It goes back down once you open that cap. It goes, pssst, right? Same thing with the system on this car. There's a malfunction. The system builds up that pressure then the purge valve said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. It keeps that at a certain level. It keeps purging it. Keep it at a certain level. Once that reaches above that certain level, once it reaches above that maximum, the computer says, wait a minute, you're not purging this system out. Cuts that check engine light on. So that's what we need to find out what's going on with the purge system. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the first thing we need to do is get down to that purge valve. Now, we got to take off this cover right here. This cover is held on by two 10 millimeter nuts one right here and one down inside here and two eight millimeter bolts one right here and one across from it over here why they did that i don't know so what we're gonna do let's get our little makita hook up our eight millimeter deep quarter inch drive and we have a 10 millimeter deep quarter inch drive and we're gonna take them out be right back all right, guys, we take our cover off. We're going to set that down to the side. And here's your purge right here. Here's the hose, and here's the check valve. That's the purge valve right there. So now we're going to take this off and check this out and see if it's working. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we got right here a little red clip. This little red clip, which you, uh, you know, let me get a little, you can take your hands. Take your fingers, these two little tabs on the side, just squeeze them out, just pull them out just a little bit, and then back. Take that tab right out of there. The next thing you want to do is right here, huh, where is it? There's supposed to be a little tab that you got to just squeeze in and pull that up. This one is off, but it's cool though. The next thing you want to do is you got your little connector right here. On the back, you got a little tab. Push that tab down and unplug it. Now sometimes, like, there it is, it's unplugged. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is get our 10 millimeter deep onto here. Take off that 10 millimeter bolt. And that's gonna give us access to take this up and take this clip off next. The next thing, this little clip right here. See those little tabs over there? What you want to do is open those tabs up and push them back just a just a just a little bit because what you're going to do here is on this side what you want to do is get your screwdriver right between here and you're gonna pry back. So I pick those two up just a little bit, push it back, and don't pull this out, just pull it just out that much. Then unplug it, there we go. Now let's test this. Now to test this, we're gonna, you got two ways of doing this, and one way is gonna show that you got a good, uh, might have a good valve, but the valve still might be a, a problem with it. And the second way, well, ain't no need to be talking, I'm gonna show you. The next step, Let's go get us our power probe, or you get a two jumper wires. All right, we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do, we want to check to see if this valve is functioning properly. And what we're going to do, we've got our power probe, and we got two pins inside. One side, we're going to hook up the ground. It doesn't matter which one. And the other side, we're going to apply 12 volts. So let's go in here and hook one side up. Now, to let me know whether the, the coil, wind, the windings inside this is good, once I connect this, the tip of this power probe to the other pin, this should turn green. I should get a green. Let me make sure I cut the sound on. So let's know it's making a full circuit, a complete circuit. Great, there it is. Now, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna cut the sound off so we can be able to hear it activate. And I'm gonna take the power probe, I'm gonna go forward, put 12 volts onto the tip of this. So now, once we do that, this purge valve should, you should, should hear a clicking. There it is. So electronically, we know this valve is good. The next step we're gonna do is a smoke test. Now, when this is on the car, it's in the car like this. So vacuum sucks through. So now what we're gonna do is force air through, well, smoke, uh, get the smoke machine, so force smoke through here and we better not see no smoke come out of here. If it does, that means this valve is leaking. All right, let's get our smoke machine and we'll be right back. All right guys, we got our smoke machine hooked up and the smoke machine is good because the smoke machine can tell you whether you have um, antifreeze leak, if the system is empty, an exhaust leak, vacuum leak, any kind of leak in the system. And what this does is actually just blow smoke throughout the system. Watch when I cut it on. See the smoke coming out of there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put this part, stick this into here tight and hold it. And then we're gonna cut our thing on and see if it smokes. Cause this one I just saw something come out. Yep, I see it. This can you can you see what I should go on a black background. Yeah, I can see it. Oh yeah, it's, it's very so small. small. Yeah, I know. You can catch it though? A little bit. Yeah, but boy that's little. Sure is. Oh, hopefully they can see it. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. It was like the wind was blowing it. No, you can't see it now. Oh, go back out. Let me stop it for one second. Let me give this thing time to rest. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. We did see a little bit. You were able to catch a little bit. Ready? I didn't cut it on yet. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We caught a little bit of it. Yep. So we know. Now we know this thing is leaking. That means even though when this valve is closed, it's still sucking in vacuum and pressurizing the system. Is that because it's not closed all the way? It's or? not closing all the way. It could be something in there. I don't know. But this is definitely no good. 